Hello everyone, this is Mark and uh, thank you for tuning in to uh, see my next video. This video is going to be one back on an electrical concept and that is making space in a very overcrowded uh, electrical panel, so a circuit breaker panel box. So uh, what I run into a lot of times is um, people wanting to add a circuit for maybe a sauna or a electric vehicle charger or just another circuit in the garage maybe a work circuit and the panel is completely full so there's no space to add another circuit breaker and so what becomes an option or what is an option is to double up the spaces and install what we call a tandem circuit breaker so in this case I have two breakers each one takes up the space. Here we go. You can see it's a 15 amp breaker, two, two 15s. It says right on the little thing there what the what the uh, number of amperage or the number of amps is. In this case, it's 15. So both of these are 15, and they take up one slot, one space, one connector point for the power to go in, and one wire, one nut for a wire to come off of it. This is a circuit breaker, a standard breaker. So these two breakers together take up this much, this much space. These are singles. They take up a space each, one whole slot, right? But what if you wanted to have more slots? Well, you have what's called a tandem breaker in this case. So here you have one, one thickness right it's the same thickness as a standard breaker right but it has two points where power can come off of it so it's two separate 15 amp breakers sorry about that anyway all right so we have two separate 15 amp breakers in the space of one slot so now we can add another 15 amp breaker because it, you can have two tandem spaces in a uh, single breaker. Okay, so obviously that's one way that we can do it. Another system is for 240 volt breakers. And here's an example of that. This is a two pole 15. It has two connectors connected together the unit trips as one separate, two separate uh, power points coming in from the, uh, the, the, the two-phase system in your, in your circuit breaker uh, panel. Um, but what if we're trying to add a vehicle charger or a sauna, both of which generally require a 240? And you've got this space taken up by these two. Well, we have what's called a tandem 240, break, uh, 240 or two pole uh, breaker. So this one, in this case, has four connections out and takes them only two slots. So this is a tandem 240. And in this case, they this one connects the two, well, I can barely see it, um, this is a, a 40, I can barely see it, you can't see it, two 40s and 30s. So we got a 30 amp breaker here and a 40 amp breaker here. This is a tandem 240. So the 240s will trip together there and the two 30s will trip together. Okay, so Here's the solution to making more space in your in your electrical panel box. You don't probably you don't need a new electrical panel to make space. You can double up your 240s and you can double up your your uh, your 120s with uh, with tandem breakers. I've seen them though. I've seen breaker boxes pretty regularly actually where the thing is completely full of tandem breakers. In that case, you really do need to do a sub-panel to get more electrical power 
uh, for your um, uh, for your house. So um, uh, one more thing to consider is that if you're adding a um, a sauna, well not a sauna, but an electrical vehicle charger, generally those are 50 amp breakers. Okay, so they call for a 50 amp, sometimes a 60 amp even. But generally like a, a, a Tesla is going to pull 48 amps, you can install a 50 amp breaker. Uh, a uh, Rivian, I've seen they want a 60 amp breaker, yet they still only pull 48 amps. So I've installed 50 amp breakers um, to power up Rivians. You know, it's like an electric truck. Um, uh, but my point is that they do not make a tandem breaker that has a 50 amp on one side. So if you're going to get a, um, if you're going to install a a uh, a tandem. 50, you, there's no 50 amp unit, 40 is the maximum on these, right, so 40 here and 30 in the middle, you can't get one that has 50 on the, on the outside and 40 in the middle or something. So uh, in that case you have to um, rearrange the panel so that you double up maybe the dryer, uh, plug, the dryer circuit with maybe the range circuit or some other uh, some other arrangements so that you're you're um, making space for a full size 50 amp breaker because they don't make 50 amp um, 50 amp tandems. So something to consider if you've uh, found this video helpful and uh, informative. You know, send me a note. I love reading your your notes, and uh, if it's useful to you. Um, Consider subscribing to the channel. I thank you for listening. This is Mark. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.